All right, guys, I'm back at Lee's Recipe Chicken. And uh, some of you might be thinking, well, yeah, Poppy, you've been there before. Why are you back? And some of you might be like, oh, never heard of them. Um, last time I was here, I was in my angry Poppy phase. But today, I am, I am chill Poppy. Chill Poppy will not go off on tangents about religion and anger and things from last time. Chill Poppy just wants to eat some good chicken. So, uh, they didn't give me any napkins. Luckily, I got those. Last time I was here, I was very pleased. I wasn't pleased with their chicken sandwich, but I liked the tenders. But I feel like I was probably too good on them. I'm going to give them another shot today. Uh, it was, good God, a whopping $15 almost for five of these. Um, and I said I didn't need anything else but the tenders. And that's basically what I'm looking at. Five tenders, which are ginormous, plus this biscuit. There's a biscuit. Get our stupid selfie thumbnail of these things. What a monster. Here we go. Ah, uh, okay. Um, let's try the biscuit. Nobody's here for the biscuit. I'm intrigued. Let's try the biscuit. It's a good biscuit. All right. Um, here for the tenders. This is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. And the famous recipe I read about this recently. I don't really remember. So if I'm wrong, I don't care. Um, could be wrong. Look it up yourself. The brother or the cousin or someone of Colonel Sanders started their own chicken chain at some point. It was Lee's famous recipe. It might have been something before that, but it became this. And supposedly this is like the original recipe for KFC, which you're not getting from KFC anymore. I don't know. It seems like a stretch, but it's also not hard to beat KFC, so... Here's a tender. Here we go. Yum yum. Let's take a bite. Mm. Yeah. That hits the spot. Thick, good tasting chicken. Well seasoned. Very flavorful. Admittedly a little dry. They could have been juicier with this, but the flavor's all there. Light years beyond KFC. Which makes it kind of sad. I think this is a failing chain. There aren't a ton of these in the country anymore. This one here is in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and there are no more within driving distance. Like, I'm pretty sure I could go four hours in any direction, not hit one of these. Might be able to go six to eight hours in any direction and not hit one, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. But there are no more around here. This is it. Let's try their ranch. I don't know how that makes sense with their distribution chain, but I don't know. Chicken's chicken, right? Uh, the one I really liked from Rock Hill was Raise the Roost 7-Eleven. And uh, they weren't getting the traffic they needed and they had management issues and they closed it. So I can't get that anymore. So this is my new Rock Hill chicken place. Here's the ranch. Pretty good ranch, reminiscent of uh, like Hidden Valley. That's the kind of flavor they got here. No one's really complaining about that, right? Yeah, back to that biscuit though. Really fluffy, really light. It's kind of darkened on the top, which I'm not a huge fan of. But the rest of it's to die for, so yay. Next up, I got their honey mustard. Again, I filmed all this once before, but that was Angry Poppy. I lost a friend over that video. No, I lost a friend over another video, and I doubled down on it in that video. Because that's the Poppy way. Um, some might say I'm intolerant. No, I tolerate it pretty well. I just... Do not hold my feelings back. Oh my God. This is a tender. This is, this is an entire ass chicken breast in one. I, this is insane. Like, ah. Uh, now that one's pretty juicy. Honey mustard's really good. Um, it's the right combo of sweet, savory, not bursting with mustard flavor though. 
which most people like. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. This is good. The price seems insane, but given how large some of these tenders are, I guess it makes sense. Like, you're going to be able to feed your family and then some of this. Throw one at the homeless guy on the street or something. Maybe he's hungry. I bought something for a dude outside the store the other day. I normally don't. They normally want money. But this guy spoke to me. He said, hey, man, can you buy me a sun drop? I'm like, I get that. Yeah, let me see if I got it. Figured they did, but they did. I bought my sundrap. Seemed happy. Yay. I did something. I don't know if that's even doing good for the world. That guy didn't deserve a sundrap. No, nothing he did in his life has led to the point where somebody should just drop two dollars and fifty cents on a sundrop for him. But you know what? I was happy to do so. He was happy. Everyone's happy. I'm happy in this food. Yeah, really good ranch. Would be nice if it was made in-house. Well, that's not the kind of place this is. Maybe they'd be doing better if that was the kind of place this is. A homemade ranch is leaps and bounds beyond what this is, but compared to like a Hidden Valley, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. So there you go. It's that's pretty good. If you're near one of these, you probably already have had it. I don't know who I'm selling on this. There aren't many of these. But those are good. Imagine the boning chicken's good. It's worth a stop. It's better than KFC. It's better than Popeyes. Check out Lee's. Lee's famous recipe. Chicken and strips is what their rusted out sign over here says. I don't know what they actually go by. Check it out. There's your review. No bashing Mormons in this one. <laughs> Catch me somewhere else to do that. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Who doesn't bash cults in his videos anymore? Turn over a new leaf. What can I say? Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.